Um, in the absence of Council Hall, we'd have to the chair today. Right. right. Um, going through the okay. Right. So, welcome to all our, all our, our viewers on the of the little Council uh, YouTube channel. This meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to the Little Crowd Council YouTube page. The aim is that decision making should be transparent and in public domain, which will involve more of our communities and more democracy. By being in the council chamber, you are consented to be being recorded and your image will be added to YouTube. The images and sound made are for training purposes. Any views expressed are the views of home and do not necessarily reflect the view of Little Town Council. With you, the guidance on the report of the policy issued. Thank you, and welcome everyone to the final meeting on Tuesday, the 15th of April. Okay. Okay. Any other declarations of interest? No, thank you. Right. Right. Now, the minutes from the planning committee have been through town council. And do we need to go through them, or are we happy to have a proposal and second approval? Thank you. 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 Thank Agenda um, item 92, standing agenda item, I said any proposed sites or local listings. Any other aware of any um, proposed sites or local listings? Yeah, okay. Right. 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 Okay. Is, uh, Suzanne, um, just a quick ramble through yeah, the notes. Um, well, yeah. Yeah. So, um, there was quite a small group of us made up of current councillors and those who've been involved in the current plan development process before. Um, Councillor Corey chaired the meeting, um, and there was discussion and a bit of a catch up, really, essentially, sort of where we are at the moment. Um, we went through the terms of reference that had been discussed previously in this group, and then there were some further suggestions made about that, um, essentially in relation to what the workload will be for that group. Um, and we agreed that we would start to put together an action plan um, of the things that we had wanted to pick up uh, and move forward at the end of the, of the, of the plan process went through, and then other activities that we thought were relevant. So for those who have just been with the planning this afternoon, things like monitoring decisions, um, so once a quarter in the group would meet, um, how a look at what decisions have been made and whether they have taken into consideration the design that we can We talked for, for quite some time about the need to move forward and build on the evidence base that we collected as part of the um, process so that we get to the point in whenever it be three, four, five years' time when we are reviewing the neighborhood plan document um, and so we're not starting from scratch in that review process. And um, I think the group felt quite positive that we could meet once a quarter and still move forward because of this uh, new budget and faster pace than that, the public monitoring um, development. Um, uh, function really, and then I will put together an action plan in the next week or so, which will come to the consideration Sorry, the next meeting is for the third of July. Do you want to make a on the item that came up at the end of that meeting for those that weren't here in terms of the uh, application that had been reviewed by? Uh, we can do. I think we've, we've just learned that in Hannah's uh, overview of the planning applications that have happened since the uh, legal plan was made, so those that have been considered by Slashman and District Council, none of those decisions have been referenced to the local legal plan. So the recommendation mm -hmm. in the training we just had is that we 
loves the latter on behalf of the community so that we work into the experience of the history. And yeah, I can't kind of, I mean, the suggestion that to my son and the portfolio holder to start to move this head planning. That's it, I think that would be good thing. So I had well, the um, recent decision of the, the reservoir scheme, which is very real acknowledgement. Uh, process leading to that uh, decision. So, apart from obviously from the towns, uh, well, I think, uh, yeah, I think the yeah, I think we're going to have to that thing we should actually invite Ben over here to get data on our training and have to let me aware of our human rights. More recently, so it's so chair but just for yeah. minutes then um if we work uh, hannah suggested that she would help us to draft an out this year if we work with hannah to draft one and perhaps with her one and then we do an interview and that's yeah that's a thing and then we'll come see what the outcome of that is is that what the action is I think if I can come in on that, um, Councillor Dolphin, there is a, I believe, plan and foot which might actually involve having two um, sort of councillors um, from each side of the, well, from the administration, the corporate of the administration. I think, what, I think everyone's well aware of the, of the gap on the current planning. So, um, can we have a proposal and a second report from this um, planning committee then that the um, chief officer writes that with the stuff? Thank you. Councillor Ledford, can I second? Second. Thank you, Councillor General. All in favour? Okay. You have a mandate. Right. Okay. Uh, moving on. Um, item uh, 94. Confirmed policy in relation to Foot Foot Hat 89 recommendations. Thank you, Councillor. You should all receive as part of your pack the letter from uh County Council. Uh, that was a pro report. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um I didn't have to touch the fact that the actual um map wasn't included on that. So <coughs> it's helpful probably I think to see the map so we have to actually see the rules that are being I think um, the the letter, the letter is, is recommended. That the two routes that are proposed are um, adopted and included on the um, definitive right to vote for the district to touch on the I think it's probably in December. I think we need to go to the point in detail. Or... Um, it does say the uh, football path plan attached to the path of Kenny to be. Okay. Um, and we'll look at the end of the end, but we'll <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Oh, so it's not a B and C are connected, then you've got to root in and the root out. So we've got root in of the double top of the root out. So. I think, I think essentially the root, as it currently exists, the foot back appears to be a cul de sac. Yes, I so this yeah. will allow a route through from the cul de sac to the first row. But I wasn't certain because it was both uh, points C and point D, which might both be on the first row. Uh, I couldn't see which way it was going on that counter. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know if the bar, but if I read this right, I think this is confirming what we thought. Yeah, in the first point, yeah. So my question is now now we've got this back in the how do how are we going to enforce it so we know what the problem is? Yeah. Add the issue. Yes, you mentioned it. It has been enforced because of the issue, because of the problems with the printed map. It's been hard for them to produce. So the point at which it then becomes part of the Presumably, so yeah, we have to talk about the land of the set of properties, or are we going to be happy that we come to the land and the other side of the property? Yeah, 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 which I would suggest if you are happy, we make reference to in our response. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because the, the person who put this together for us is just in trouble. The evidence is very, very yeah. good at this, um, this situation. But we have waited an incredibly long time for this. And we will go straight to the county council. Mm -hmm. It's called Yes. Uh, 26. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Uh -huh. It would have been nice if they'd gone A, B, C, which I presume was. Yes. Oh, A, B, C, I said B, 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 C, D. Okay. So the we've got effectively a route coming in from first row, yeah, that then divides and joins the what joins the currently um, defined build at eighty nine. At its end point C, but also partially along it at point B. So, I mean, it's that's again there. So, yes. is he up towards, I'll uh, get all these conclusions here. Is he up towards now to the right to the right there? So, no, no. no. Yeah. Yes. What, what happens then? Yeah. Um, so, if, if you're happy, then we will go back and say we support the recommendations within this report uh -huh. and we'll include our additional thoughts with regards to each point. Um, and then the county council goes to whatever powers they need to to um, formalise that, yeah. and then through some of that route then becomes enforced. Right. Thank you. But um, essentially, we're, we're being asked if we have effectively um, any amendments to make to their to their um, decision that they've made. And I think what we're saying is that we hold up and support them. Yes, and for the following reason. I'm going to be back up. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I would say, if you have a person wants to be, you're moving next to the chief officer, response appropriately with the detail. Yes. Can I just ask a question for clarification? Does not mean to come over the background. Did the footpath then go from the property that it was built with first initially? And it's been locked off. Yes. Is that what's happened? Of course, of course, I'm going to be diverted on it. Well, the way that it originally arrived in has been diverted into now. In the middle of somebody's world, and just stop. Oh, something like that. 
I, I think what happened was there was an error with the terms in that process. Yeah. And so at the, the point at which they had um, gone through a process of formalising all the way across, across the country, across the county, um, there was an error with this, which meant that previous and successive landowners had made amendments to the route. But there's a well, um, well categorised and chronicled history and usage of this type of land, which meant that such a long way to get. Uh, issues such as this, and we've had that treatment. So, and we first wrote, I mean, I don't know what happened before I was here, but we first wrote you know, into mm, 2017, I think, 2017. It certainly predates the original account, because it's the first time. Just for clarification, is the land owner objecting? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, I'll see that those are being stated. I think I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, just to put a bit of pressure on that as well. I don't think anybody's done anything malicious. I think I think it's been a case of the, the, the information's been out of ambiguous and people have been too to, to suit themselves more or less really. I think it's all uh, anything good then. Um and it's supposed to be false. So I think this is what I have to be uh, de determined, uh, definitively determined. Yeah. So I have a proposal from Councillor Jones, that the chief officer writes into writes uh, um, expressing our support and quoting the information that we have on the key points. <laughs> Can I have a second for that, please? James, before we move oh, no, forward, uh, the response they're asking for is before the 21st of this month. Yes. Do we know when the actual rights of way committee sit? We don't sit very often. Well, <laughs> I'm not on so I won't. I think so that, that means there's effectively a deadlock, time deadline, but that's what Well, there is, that's on the, yeah. in the letter that's going to be, that's yeah. what I'm sure Sarah is aware of, but I was just wondering when the actual decision is going to be made, and perhaps we could tune in and watch it happening, or... I think from reading the letter, I think the decision has been made, and we're being asked if, we're being asked if we want to, we want to influence right. their decision. It's, it's, just, it's, it's, making, making, it's making a recommendation. Yeah. Okay. Um, the two recommendations that come out are that and all should be made to modify the thickness of the map uh, uh, by continuing the line of public book map 89 but also on the definitive map as shown on the plan entity marking ABC. It just says that it will be shortly considered by the rights and way committee. That's what makes me think it's going to be considered. Well, I think that they're recommending that these changes be made, and I'm assuming that if the rights and way committee will make, the, will make the changes. Uh, I don't know if it's delegated or whether all decisions are about committee. I don't know. I don't know. But it, I think probably if you put someone would find you in forward. Forward, yeah. Forward. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is for the uh, proposed uh, one internally illuminated projectile sign and one, in, one um, internally illuminated fascia sign to the front of the unit, um, the sec second unit up from the bottom of the Sainsbury's um, shop front. Um, uh, fascia sign dimensions are given as uh, 0.955 meters by 4.498 meters by 0.95 meters, down to base 3. Point so 3.4 um, sign hiding across the front of the building, and the advertising sign at 0.75 meters by 0.75 meters by 0.1 meters by the ground, 3.257 meters. That sign projects from the building. Um, the summary assessment is that the luminance is below the industry lighting standard. Um, the cap center of the other commercial units is fine, and the locality of the floodlights or spotlights. The recommendation at the moment is to approve, recommend approval on the grounds that there are no valid resources to reject. Do I have anyone who wants to speak on this? Which is you not yet. We didn't want to process it. Council Sol. Well, it can't be right. I'm so excited because I see it in the space. It's also lower down than the same visible as less visible. Okay. Yeah. So, um, anyone else want to make so, okay, any comment on this, or are we happy to uh, recommend approval? Okay, thank you. Recommend the approval on that one. Right, moving on to application um, 2024 0113, Gates Road, 95 Constable Road. This is to install a new drop curve to remove the front, the front stone wall, dig out in part the front garden, build a new retaining wall in block with timber cladding, tarmac hard standing to create off road parking with eco drain and soak away to front of our standing and creating new steps on the path to the right for property access. Removing hedges to the right side to install new fencing, but retaining the hedge to the left. Materials are uh, walls of block padding, uh, block padding timber, set for weakening in stone. Um, so, as per the, those um, uh, descriptions, the purpose is to create off road parking for two vehicles, replacing the steps front garden parking area. Uh, the recommendation um, is at the moment. Subject to no higher object objections, we recommend approval. Um, subject to sufficient training being installed. Um, do you have anyone else making a comment on this? Council Salt? I just think that um, it's some people are going to have to start making driveways if they want to go with non electric vehicles. So I think, you know, the ESC is just putting in eco drain and soak away yeah. um, to get rid of the water. So. Uh, look, looking at the location, the next door neighbour has already done this in the sense of the frontage of their, of their house. There is no driveway as such to allow for parking, off road parking. In some ways, it alleviates the issues of on road parking on that area of the top end of Tunstall Road. And yeah. um, it's just, I think, it's immediately prior to the pit, and so it's probably a good thing to get the parking off the road. So, are we, are we all happy to um, recommend approval? Yeah. No, anyone, anyone objecting to that? No abstentions, we say, okay, right, fine. Recommending approval. Right, uh, next item, 2024-0143, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson of, I'm assuming it's for Mill Hayes Road, I think Chevrolet is, I'm assuming, the house name. Proposed single story entrance area and alterations to existing front gables, proposed single story rear extension, proposed render finish. Materials will be wall, walls will be off white render, roof with grey tile, windows grey, grey UPC. Um, it's so essentially a small three bedroom uh, attached bungalow. It's extending the front entrance hall and it's a rear extension to allow for an extended kitchen, sitting area, and dining area. It's not overlooked and not affecting the neighbours. Um, and again, the recommendation is for approval subject to the white render not being out of character in the neighbourhood. I just make the point on here that I think the two houses. Opposite are already quite rendered or off quite rendered. Uh, and Councillor Jones. Yeah, thank you, Chair. Uh, if this is one of the uh, sort of L shaped bungalows, I think it is. Uh, they're all brick, aren't they? They're all built with a stand and they're all brick. I, I do get a bit concerned that people covering up wood brick. It seems to be a trend at the moment to render stuff and have rail windows. And, and I just wonder uh, if that's appropriate. If, if the building's not rendered already, um, if they've got a rent, they can't. That's not, I think it's not a character. I, I, I only say not because they are not of the same 
a generation of those houses as the ones of the, of this one. It's the one I'm thinking of. I think it, it, it's one of the it's it's uh number that's the four. Yeah. 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 yeah, they're all the same. They're all, they're all the same. Can we pull this up on the screen? No, I don't think we can. Yeah, I thought I thought it was that one. Yeah, four. And they are they are they're all pretty. They're quite pretty. I think it's one that's one that's one that's next to the substation. No, it's one next to the one. Oh uh, yes, it's one. It's the substation that we did the next one area. So I think. Um, uh, if we can, 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 if uh, perhaps all you make in terms of subject, subject approval subject to the it not being out of character. Oh, if we're concerned this will be out of character, then um, we can recommend refusal on the grounds that the white red will be out of character. The trouble is, yeah, okay. yeah, they can do the extension, yeah, finish it, complete it, get signed off, and in 12 months' time, they can rent it without with any approval at all. Yes, I know, because that's what people do, do. That's, yeah. that's the only sad thing. But I think it goes, it's, it's a shame when 50 would break by, I guess, called up there, and it's, it seems to be a, a long term. It, it, it is. Um, so, that's well, it's not, that's not, yeah, that's not, 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 that so those are the two on the opposite side of the road. Right. So um council space. I think there's other houses in the same street at least think we can say that it's out of character. And I think people want to modernise these bungalows that are, you know, they, they get more value out of the house when they're more modern when they come to sell them on the things. We can't really decline on that. Okay, I, 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 I'm not sure if it is a a valid planning consideration. Okay. There are further ones yeah. around the further down. Okay. Yeah. I think I think in that case, all we can do. Um, so we have a recommendation here from Council Hall to approve the subject to um it not be considered not to be out of character. We could put that caveat on and leave mm. the office planning officers to make the decision. Yeah. Would you be happy with that? Yeah, not all that yeah. Okay, right. So the so um the recommendation is for approval subject to it not being the white men not being out of character. We'll leave the uh, delegating the decision to the, to the planning officers to make. Are we all happy with that? Can I show up? We're all happy with that. Okay, I think that's Okay, and the final one on here. Any late comments? Okay, right. We have um, 2024 0154. This is Jake Hargreaves. One meeting going on to. Um, Robin Hill, Little Small, Rock End Stables, and New Street, Little Small. This is a proposed new access parking area extension to existing stables for agricultural storage. Um, no pre, no pre application advice for materials that match existing. The summary is uh, for, to have a new access um, to have a low area either side for enhanced visibility to allow parking for five vehicles. The stable block extension is for storage, and the existing access will be retained so as not to the visibility of the existing access will be retained so as not to keep the neighborhood visibility on the adjacent drive. The key point here is to make a better parking area because of the increased use, increased number of people using the effective to become a community polytunnel. Um, allowing for safer parking. Um, the recommendation is for approval subject to, no, to non contravention of green belt, no objections on highways, and there are no neighbor, neighbors valid planning concerns. Does anyone have any comments they want to make on this? This is a, a location that had had issues in the past. Are we happy then in that case to recommend approval to the council? Yes. Yeah, the only comment I'll make is that uh, there's so many fields now which have been put over the horses and taken out of agriculture, and it seems an imbalance between when the solar farm 
application comes through and forms complain that uh, land has been taken out of agricultural use. I mean, this is effectively the same. We're going to have to for rubbing crops, never mind generating electricity. I think the piece of land that they're putting the heart of parking on currently is planted with tree saplings that are going to be relocated, that are going to be relocated. Um, can we tag a um, no loss of biodiversity to this, or can we can we tag a biodiversity net gain or too small? Too small. Never mind. Well, or, I, don't, I don't know the, 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 the regulations that apply to smaller developments from some kind of small. Mm. So, whether well, it's retrospective or yeah. uh, applications which are already in. Councillor Jones. I think on, on biodiversity, we can make an argument that the existing biodiversity of that piece of ground was completely shot to pieces when the, the house that was stable was built in the tree for 40 because it was originally. Um, crop more than yeah. if anything that has been there. It's kind of all that already all that yeah. weeks ago. So uh, there's been a big environmental <coughs> impact anyway. That said, that's gone. We are where we are. My, my main concern is increased traffic stopping still from turning out onto new mm -hmm. because that's it's a 30 mile an hour limit, as we know. Yes. But it's a, it's a long straight piece of road. The visibility on the existing bed isn't that good. So my 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 caveat would be yeah. Yes, I think so. that, yeah. that, that, was, that was the point that I think Cat's was making is that it's subject to non conservation of green belt in terms of its development and yeah. uh, contravening green belt, but it is in the green belt. Mm -hmm. um, no objections from highways because of the increase in traffic on that road coming in out of that road, and um, there are no valid um, neighbours planning concerns. Mm -hmm. are, we all, are we happy to accept that recommendation as raised by Cat Okay, they can have a show of hands. Thank you. Any objections? Any abstentions? No for that. Okay, thank you. That deals with the four that we have on the agenda. Okay. Right, moving on. Do you have any supplementary applications? No supplementaries. Um, new decision the notes received from the district council. This has been circulated. Is there anything on here that we need? Is there anything here that, that we've approved or that we've not approved that the SMS has gone to? Are they all the same? They're all the same. Okay. We're receiving those. Thank you. Do uh, you have any appeals? Uh, no, no. Okay, in that case, well, that concludes the business of this meeting. Thank well, you all for attending. Well, 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 thank you again. Thank you for